It's the season for gift buying, but not all gifts are safe for giving. In tonight's Consumer Watch 10, News 10 Sarah Schaefer has more on the 2015 list of most dangerous toys. It's the season for shopping. Terre Haute resident Courtney Scheid is already almost done with her list. Today she's at Walmart South hoping to check off the last items. Since I don't have any children, um, it's pretty fun to shop around. I used to work at Toys R Us. I was there for several years, so it's kind of fun. It, I get to play with some of the stuff too. So, Walmart started this season with nearly a quarter of a million dollars worth of toys. So there's plenty to choose from, but not all of them are safe. The World Against Toys Causing Harm, or WATCH, lists 10 toys you may want to look out for. The popular Velociraptor Claws and Airsoft Guns are two of them, and the cute pull along dog. <laughs> Assistant Manager Chris Funk says they have a website they follow to keep track of anything that needs to come off the shelf. When a recall comes down from a manufacturer, um, it goes on a compliance piece, and we have so long to react to it. It's a precaution customers appreciate. It's extremely important because there's obviously choking hazards, depends on the age of the child, things like that. Reports say each year toys send just shy of 150,000 kids to the hospital. It's a scary statistic both store managers and shoppers hope not to be a part of for the result of a safe holiday season. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Marty Ledbetter, Sarah Schaefer, News 10. The Walmart employee we talked to says they can sell anywhere from 20 to 30,000 toys a weekend during the holiday season. Manufacturer recalls have not taken any of the toys off the shelves yet this season.